All right, let's work on this guy's puzzle. Check. This is mating right here. Kaboom. Okay. Well. Knight to F4 is pretty strong. Oh, actually, even better is rook to e7. Goodbye, queen. The old saying is when you find a good move, knight to f4, look for a better one. Rook to e7. So, what a freak. Oh, easy win. Check. Queen takes bishop. Check. Goodbye. Super crush. 12 in a row. Cakewalk. You guys have seen it. So, that king was sitting in those pawns. When the king sits in the pawns like that, let me go back. The king's sitting here, the pawns at h5. This formation that is just begging for a rook or a queen to be shoved right onto h6. Because it defends the backward pawn, checks the king from a protected location, forcing him to evacuate. And then I took the bishop and, well, come on. He's going to, if he sticks his piece in there, he's going to be toasted. So... He could stick the rook there. That's the good. But what happens if he sticks the rook there is that uh, I'm just going to play rook to f6. Triple attacking the rook. And, you know, he cannot play this rook on h6 to f6. He cannot play rook to f8 because this rook is pinned and defends nothing. So, you know, he can play knight here or knight to there. It doesn't matter. He can't defend f5. That's the he, he needs to defend f5. He can't. He can only defend it twice as it is. I attack it a third time and then take it at my will. So that's the point behind that. Well, let's look at this one. That was queen to e7. That was a cakewalk. This was another cakewalk. Yeah, we'll take a look at it. Okay, this is a key formation that I saw, and that is when I moved, the reason I moved knight to check was the rook cuts this off, and it sets up this formation that's really an important formation. That was his move. You get a good luck with that. The formation, whenever the knight checks on e2, you see the g1 and g3 squares are cut off. So it doesn't matter where he goes. Any kind of rook or queen that lands on the H file is going to checkmate him because you have to look at this as he's trapped. The knight traps him here and here. In some cases, when I do these puzzle problems, you'll see the bishops guarding the square, whatever. You know, so it's like whenever G, the G1, G2, and G3 wall is created, when on the check, he should go king to H2, but it doesn't really make much difference. The, the difference it makes is that if you don't immediately checkmate him and forget somehow or don't see it, you, you can play king h3 and, and, sur and survive. But whenever this g1, g2, and g3 wall is created by his own pieces, like knights, pawns, or your own pieces guarding the, any of those squares, you know, you open up this uh, h file checkmate, which is what I did. So a quickie three problems. You know, the street continues tomorrow. So I will see you guys later.